Welcome back to The Exchange, everybody. The deadline to file 2023 taxes just a couple of days away, Monday to be precise, but about a third of Americans have yet to file their returns, according to the IRS. And for those of you in that group, our next guest has some tips to help maximize uh, your refund if you're due one. Joining us now, Bill Harris, founder and CEO of Evergreen Money and former CEO of both PayPal and Intuit. Uh, Bill, I think I've used uh, Intuit products to file my taxes in the past. Yes, you would have. Yeah. TurboTax. TurboTax, absolutely did. Um, there's very little that a person can do today to reduce what they pay for their 2023 returns, right? Very little. There's one thing you can do, which is if you have not funded your IRA, you can do so if you do it by April 15th. But there are income limits on whether that's uh, income tax limits, deductible or not. Uh, about $156,000, depending upon your filing status. And even if you qualify, it's only, um, it's only about 6500 So let's turn to the things I can do right now for 2024 to reduce the tax I owe either during this year or when I have to settle up with the IRS next spring. What should I do? Well, that's exactly the question. Because what people do is they panic at the end of the year and they need to prepare the taxes and then file, but all of that is backwards looking. There's nothing you can do. Right now is the time to think about setting yourself up for 2024 and make sure that this time next year is not as painful. So what do I do? What well, a couple are of things. some of the things I can do? Some of the things you can do. Well, first of all, if you are a high income taxpayer in a high tax state. New Jersey. New Jersey. New Jersey is a good one. Over 10% at the highest levels. Um, that's in addition to the federal and the NIT, your total tax rate is going to be in excess of 50%. Mm -hmm. First thing you need to do, get your money out of bank accounts and CDs. And put it into? Put it into, well, first of all, on the, uh, why out of bank accounts? Because you're paying more than 50%. It's about the worst thing you can do from a tax point of view. Put it into, if it is cash and fixed income, either treasuries, which are ta state tax state exempt. tax exempt. Munis, uh, which are federal tax exempt. And could be triple tax exempt if you buy in New Jersey. You betcha. Triple tax free, no taxes whatsoever. And then for other fixed income, put it in your tax deferred accounts, IRAs, Roths, 401ks. Most people do that wrong because what they're doing is they think stocks are my long-term investments. These are my, my retirement accounts. I'll put the stocks in the retirement account. That's wrong because it's the income generating stocks or uh, assets that have the, have the high taxes. That's right. So that you do your fixed income stuff. You do your trading. If you're trying to rebalance your portfolio, you would be well advised to do more of your trading in your tax sheltered accounts, wouldn't you? Not really, because you really want to shelter the income. Hmm. On the trading side, what you've got is stocks which are generating either dividends or capital gains. You're already ahead. Because now top tax rate federal is 20%, not 37%. Mm -hmm. Then what you can do is when you trade, time those trades. Uh, it's very punishing if you trade uh, in less than 12 months. If more than 12 months, you're into long-term capital tax ra uh, gain rates. And you can control when you owe the taxes. By, by timely buying and selling. Timely buying and selling. You can defer simply not sell not this sell. year. Wait until 2025 to sell, but realize losses today to offset any gains I have. Exactly. That's the second part. You can sell, you can defer, you can offset. So you can sell if you harvest your losses. And then finally, ultimately, you're going to have some capital gain that's unrealized but built up. And there are ways to, to get rid of that without paying taxes as well. There are charitable strategies, gifting strategies, and um, other kinds of estate strategies. So net-net, you can go from paying 50% of your earnings on your investments to tax to paying 0%. Right.